Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Sneha Nair and as you all know, we have started with Sedistify Physical Chemistry paper number 303, unit 3 part B which is called as a polymetric tissue. And in the last video, I'm pretty sure you, you must have gone through it, we had studied or taken into consideration the addition polymerization, the very first part which was called as the free radical polymerization technique. And in this coming video, we'll be studying about the second important category of the addition polymerization which is called as a cationic polymerization. So let's get started. Now if I talk about the cationic polymerization, as we had discussed in the very first initial slide of ours, we already know that cationic is anything which will have a positive charge to it. You know? So whenever it is having a positive charge to it means it can also be called as a carb cationic intermediate formation polymerization reaction. So generally cationic polymerization reactions what generally what happens is we exactly lead to the formation of a carbocation. Now carbocation is anything which will have a positive charge to it. You know? So how do we form carbocation? We form it by the presence of or generate by the presence of Lewis acid, which can be BF3, ALCL3, SNCL4, etc. Or we can also make use of protonic acids like H2SO4 and HF, etc. Now the very first stage or the very first step, as we know, it is, you know, any addition polymerization technique is divided into three main stages, initiation, propagation, and lastly, the termination stage. So the very first stage will be obviously here also is initiation step. Now, if I talk about the initiation step, in this particular example, A, I have taken an example of a protonic acid where an H2SO4 will dissociate and result in the formation of H plus and HSO4 minus. And the second example I've taken of the Lewis acid wherein BF3 is taken into consideration. It is reacted with water, obviously it is, you know, water is added or it is added into water. So it results in the formation of H plus and BF3 OH minus. As you can clearly observe here, though in both the cases, in the case of Lewis acids as well as the protonic acid, we have obtained H plus. Now this H plus will then be reacting with our monomeric units. In this case, CH2 double bond C, CH3 O twice is there. When it is reacting, what happens is this double bond will break. The moment it is breaking, so what happens is CH3, instead of CH2, it becomes what? CH3 whole thrice, C plus, C. So now what happens is a carbocation has been formed. Now this carbocation, which has been formed in, in the initiation step, will then go on further, you know, for the propagation stage. Now the, talking about the propagation stage, what will happen is this carbocation is then reacting with the monomer unit, you know, monomer of interest. In this way, I've taken an example of CH2 double bond C, CH3 O twice. What generally will take place, as in C, the monomeric units are taking in, uh, you know, are simultaneously added at each stage and the same monomer is added. So what generally happens is in the, in all the cases of polymerization, what will happen is a double bond is going to break and this will then convert into a stable form. Means the reaction resulted into what? CH3 O twice C, CH2, then this will become C plus Y because the bond has been broken up. So obviously the positive charge will come over here. The carbocation will be formed over here. And like if, you know, if likewise, if I go on adding the monomeric units time and again to the system, to this polymeric monomeric unit. So what will happen is CH3 O twice C, CH2, C, CH3 O twice N number of times have been added. And which is also in combination with CH2, C plus, CH3 O twice. Now first, lastly, what will happen is, as we all know, that there cannot be an immense number of monomeric units addition into it. So we need to terminate the reaction somewhere. No, we need to get it to an end point. So what generally happens is the last stage is also called as the termination stage, as we all know. So what generally I'm going to take into consideration is we will just write down, we will just going to, you know, terminate the reaction on a byproduct. So what will happen is this can be released easily. So the final product, you can see as you can compare this one with this one, the final product, the only thing that has been changed, the C plus, will again get converted into a double bond. Means it is just satisfying the valency of carbon. And we already know that carbon has a, you know, what kind of valency? It is tetravalent in nature, means it has to satisfy four different bonds with different elements. So the valency has been satisfied over here. And this way we can say that the cationic polymerization has been terminated and the cationic polymerization result in the final polymer technique. So these were the two, uh, this was the second important uh, polymerization technique, which was a part of addition or the chain growth polymerization technique. And this is also frequently asked in exam. 
now i hope that in the coming lecture you guys will be going through it and you know so that we can uh, move on to the last topic of the addition polymerization which is called as the anionic or the carb anionic polymerization technique now till then keep on reviving stay safe take care thank you